I just made a video, uh, One Way Speed of Light, Veritas Immune Response, Part 2. It actually got some views already very quickly. And uh, I wanted to talk a little more about uh, this topic. I've already got a question. Um, and, and so I want to make some clarifications first. Uh, in the example that was shown in the Veritasium video, we imagined a situation where you have a non-Galilean skew of a space-time diagram. Um, here, you had Earth and Mars, light signal going back and forth, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. And, uh, and in this situation, nothing actually happens. Uh, we move this part up, so we make the speed of light slow down on the way there. And so, so we moved, basically we moved this up to zero minutes minus 10 minutes. Oops, zero minutes minus 10 minutes. And, but nothing actually happened. 10 minutes, zero minutes. That is very different sort of operation than what you have in uh, a Galilean skew. In a Galilean skew, you move, you will, you do move uh, the uh, plane or the time, the time plane horizontally. So it changes the x, delta x, over delta t, and so you you can you change that so you have your observer. Maybe you turn you are coming this way because you're stopped, and then you accelerate to the right. Uh, but it looks to you in this frame, let's see, everything went this way. So you were going this way and then you turned to the, and then you accelerated, but now you're, you're stopped in your own reference frame. So something actually changed here and it is your point of view. Your point of view has changed here. Um, on the other hand, in this example, everything, it was just arbitrary. There's, there's no reason to have this sudden skew up like this. There, there's no, there's, it was just like, okay, we'll just pretend that it's like this instead. Um, in this one, nothing has changed either because you have uh, this guy here and this guy, uh, this guy on Earth, this guy on Mars, they both remain stationary at the same time. But in this one, there is an acceleration and something changes because the position was over here and suddenly it becomes over here. All right, now, same thing in the uh, Lorentz transformation, something does definitely change when you, uh, these, these skew operations that happen here when it comes in this way and out this way, but keeps everything on those lines, on the speed of light lines, something is changing. You're changing your velocity uh, when, you, when you make that happen. So it will, when you change your velocity, it does affect what you see. And moreover, what you see is going to be right along these lines here if you are here. That is because this is where the objects are that are um, along, along the path. Whatever object is here, um, let's say it's moving that way, you will see this event because it took the speed of light to get to here, and that's what you would see. And that's that's assuming that the speed of the one-way speed of light is constant, and um, so. But you can change these things because clearly, if I um, accelerate one way or the other, I, as I said, things move in this way, things move out this way. So that brings us to uh, ask Mervic. Bonson's question, I didn't mention the part about young and old galaxies. 
which was the original comment about, or am I just not understanding it properly? And I think uh, it's a combination of I didn't detail it properly because uh, let's imagine two different uh, scenarios of the of the universe. The first one, uh, all of the objects in it are stationary, and uh, we are one of those stationary objects. And we take off, and su suddenly we accelerate to the right. Now, um, these guys, Lorentz, contract together, and we end up in a situation where uh, they're they're all moving to the left. And what do we see? We see particles along those angles. Um, here's one. Here's one. Here's one. And over here, here's one, here's one. And so you'll see um, these guys should be uh, that you're going toward are greatly spread out. These guys that you're going away from are uh, bunched together. It's like the, the ones behind you have bunched together and are following you closely. Um, if you uh, look at another example where instead of everything moving uh, in stationary, you have them coming out like this. And then we are one of these particles, but we take a sharp right. And what does the space-time diagram look like right there? Well, um, let's draw the draw the hyperbolas around that. Um, okay, so we'll be doing uh, we'll go this way and this way and this way and this way and which way are the arrows going? We want this to move there, so this one's got to go this way and this one's that way and. Uh, Likewise, that one goes that way, and that one goes that way. So, uh, what happens to uh, these events? Of course, they also will tend to spread out. Uh, um, this this guy down here moves way over, way over here, and we end up with we are living in a much older universe uh, because the Big Bang event came down here, and from there you get that and uh, so you will feel like you are over on one edge of the universe or the other and uh, objects will be coming out like that you'll actually be hitting things uh, as because you turned you turn to the right those are the things you're going to be colliding with in the future until um, at a certain point well, actually, unless you uh, re unless you turn again to match directions with the ed the the origin again, you're gonna be you're gonna be uh, hitting debris from the Big Bang the whole time. So anyway, I but yeah, you would have um, an asymmetry in either situation because you would uh, you would look back at the edge of the universe in this situation and one edge of the universe would be much much further away than the other. Now as far as young galaxies and old galaxies that's kind of a difficult question I guess. I mean this line from this perspective uh, looking back this way would be towards the oldest galaxies in the universe because they're the ones that are have been stationary the whole time. And uh, the guy over here would be younger than you. Um, yeah, it's hard to it's hard to um, maybe do the math as far as uh, figuring out exact or I'm not quite sure right off the top of my head how to figure out where you would see uh, the oldest galaxies along this uh, speed of light vector. But I do feel like there would be an asymmetry if there was a significant velocity change. Right. 
here. So thank you for asking, ask Mervig Branson, Bonson. 